Good morning, everybody. First of all, uh, on behalf of the uh, fathers of the martyrs and families, I would like to thank you all for your attendance and participation in this event. And we highly appreciate your efforts in conducting this event in annual basis to commemorate the Martyr Day in United Kingdom. This gives us uh, a solidarity, uh, gives us uh, an energy to continue our path and our struggle uh, to uh, continue for demanding uh, for our rights in Bahrain. Uh, thank you all, and we hope that to continue uh, on this path. On anniversary day, of martyrs myself and my colleague the fathers of the martyrs and families we are proud of our kids we are proud of our people in Bahrain who came out to the street in 2011 fighting for their rights fighting for their dignity fighting for their self-determination and they gave blood their blood for the freedom in Bahrain. We are very proud of those people. In the same time, we are sad that those young people, that our kids, they lost their life. They were prevented from living because they fighted for basic rights which mentioned by the international uh, agreements which make the things more worse which make the things more sad that the torturer that the killers still they move freely in Bahrain without any accountability and which is which make the things more worse that the government some governments like United States like United Kingdom still they are showing their solidarity and support to the dictatorship regime in Bahrain and still they train the torturer and killer in how to torture our people. Still they are selling weapons and tear gas to the government to kill our people. We are very, we feel surprised for this uh, behavior of the, these governments. From this standpoint, our belief to struggle, to continue against the Khalifa regime and to and we should end this dictatorship in the Bahrain. Never mind, even if we arrested, if we exiled, if we killed, we are ready to continue to end this dictatorship in Bahrain. But we need the countries who are still showing their solidarity to stop this support because they are participating with the regime of Al Khalifa to kill our people. And this is a clear message to the parliamentarians, to the NGOs, that they should keep some pressure on this government to stop their solidarity to the uh, Al Khalifa and to give more pressure to, the, to support the people in getting their rights and uh, their basic rights. 
the regime is not killing they they don't kill uh, our kids only they are punishing the families my colleague the father of uh, the martyrs Ali al-Sheikh who was uh, released last week from the prison after they sentenced him three years his a crime because he was demanding for the justice and to introduce the killer to the justice he protested for his martyr and for his son rights and due to that he was arrested and tortured or mistreated other fathers other families also were targeted some of the martyrs of the uh, far, uh, martyrs families still they are waiting the verdict from the court because they protested against the uh, government or they demand for the rights of their kids.